Hi everybody, in this tutorial I will show you how you can edit blend shapes of this MetaHuman for free. It is official MetaHuman Maya plugin. So, let's start. Previously we shared a couple of tutorials about 5.6 MetaHumans. You can find all related information like creating the first character, installation or anything else. You can find it inside those tutorials. So if you didn't watch it, please watch it because I won't cover the basics in this tutorial. So let's go back. This is the character that we exported outside Unreal Engine. So this is 5.6 MetaHuman and we already installed the Maya plugin. So let's click on MetaHuman plugin and click on Expression Editor. Inside it just locate your DNA and it will load your DNA and then just click on this Expression Poses. Previously, we changed the joint positions. Today, we will change the shape itself. And also, the joints will follow them automatically. We need to first assemble this scene. So I click on this small button and create a new scene. Yes. So this is our new scene. And I will edit the jaw open shape. Let's go click on search bar and type jaw open. Select this one and it will automatically select it for you. Just click on this to activate it. But right now, you cannot do any change. You need to activate it. Just double click on this node. And right now, we can change the shape. Also, we can change the joints as well. You can change it by doing sculpting. Just go find Sculpt Head LOD0 Mesh and isolate it. And you can sculpt on this mesh directly. So let's try something in here. Let's move this like this. Move it. Move, move. And let's say this is our final shape. I don't spend too much time on it, just to show you. And to update this mesh and also calculate the other joints, you need to click on this little button on the bottom. And click on yes. Just check the joints, it will change automatically. And as you can see, all the joints changed according to your movement. And this will apply to lower LODs as well. So you can use lower LODs without correcting anything because it is baked on the joints. But still, you won't get perfect results because joints only moves the specific areas and we moved every single vertex. So this is the first option, you can do this. And also, you can isolate it. And I already sculpted another mesh. You can import it here. Just go to File, Import, find your mesh and import it inside here. So this is my sculpted mesh. Let's assign a material to see it better. So as you can see, the, there is a difference between my sculpted mesh and the mesh that we sculpted just now in the session. What we will do is we will transfer this shape to the sculpt head LOD zero mesh. To do this, we can either use the UVs or the vertex order, but I would recommend you to use UVs because if the vertex order is not same, you will get some explosion in the vertices. Let's first select your custom mesh and then click on sculpt head LOD zero mesh. And we cannot do it inside here, I guess. So first click on your custom mesh and then click on Sculpt Head LOD Zero Mesh. While both selected and the order is important, you need to make this order like this. Go to Mesh, Transfer Attributes, Attributes to transfer Vertex Position on, Vertex Normal on, UV Sets off, Color Sets off, Attribute Settings, Sample Space, UV. We will transfer everything through UV. So click on Apply and close. So let's hide our custom mesh and click on sculpted mesh and isolate it. And as you can see, sculpt head LOD zero mesh is now our new shape. That means I changed my blend shape according to my custom sculpt that I did outside of Maya. You can use it Blender, you can use it ZBrush, you can use any sculpting software. This is the good part. So go back and we will do the translation by clicking on this button again. So click on Run ML Joints Matching and updates joints in the scene. 
And as you can see, right now all of the joints matched and I have this new shape. It's cool, right? Okay, so how we can transfer it back to Unreal Engine? It's simple. All the information inside here is written on the DNA. So all we need to do is just stop recording in here. And first let's test our mesh. And as you can see, it's working. So let's close this one. And again, we are going to this area. First, we need to update MetaHuman DNA from scene. Click on this one and click on yes. And save it outside of Maya. Just save it any file, it's not important. And it is already updated our DNA. So let's go back. Let's check how it was before. Go to animation and select your file. Select your face mesh, just make it closer, go here. Let's go find jaw open. So this is like this, his mouth like this. Let's go back, update our material DNA, import new DNA, select your new DNA and import and just save it. And go back to animation and just refresh my anim assets. And as you can see, it opens it less than before. So I will make a comparison and let's check in here as well. It is just the same shape. And that's it. This is exactly how you change your blend shapes inside NIV totally free MetaHuman Maya plugin. I will continue to provide you the best solutions for MetaHumans. Till next time, good luck with your MetaHumans and bye.